Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. EA Sports dropped us a surprise yesterday, and it was a gamble SBC, a player pick that just about everybody couldn't resist because it was brand new, it was different, kind of fun, and include the, included the current fantasy foot cards in the pack. I want to take a look at the campaign bag player pick that was dropped yesterday. It moved the market a lot. A lot of cards have dropped. The fantasy foot cards have dropped because EA ran surprise lightning rounds yesterday on Tuesday as well. We have some more leaks about cards that are going to be upcoming as a part of foot fantasy team number two. And we have some team of the week leaks. It looks like it might be a pretty solid team of the week today. So we're going to talk about all the market moves from yesterday. Talk about why the market moved like it did. And of course, everything to do with the crazy situation going on right now with the Maradona icon cards. Because Maradona has been actually removed from FIFA. So we're going to talk about all that in today's video. If you're excited for it, leave a thumbs up. And of course, subscribe if you're new. And first... I want to send it over to another version of Nate for a special message from the sponsor of today's video. Massive thanks to Manscaped for sponsoring today's video. Manscaped is the best in below the waist men's grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineered tools for your family jewels. And they recently launched the ultimate men's hygiene bundle. That is this big package that we have right here. The performance package Join over 4 million men worldwide trusting manscape with this exclusive offer that you see right here code TFA 20% off at manscaped.com. Let me take you through all the amazing products as a part of this package. First of all, we have the lawnmower 4.0 trimmer, their fourth generation trimmer featuring a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. This trimmer is waterproof and features a 400K LED spotlight for a more precise shave. You not only get one trimmer, you get two in this package with the Weed Whacker ear and nose hair trimmer as well. This features waterproof capabilities and provides proprietary skin safe technology, which helps reduce nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate areas. Also as a part of this package, we have the Crop Preserver Ball Deodorant and the Crop Reviver Ball Toner. Let me tell you, these are absolutely game changing products that will help you change the way you approach. You approach your daily hygiene routine. Also thrown in as a part of this deal, we have Manscaped Boxer Briefs Anti-Chafing, very nice. And to top it all off, a very quality leather Manscaped tote bag to carry all of your goodies around in. It's time to take care of yourself. So go to manscaped.com and get 20% off and free shipping with code TFA right now. That is manscaped.com, code TFA. Get yourself 20% off. Unlock your confidence and always use the right tools for the job with Manscaped. Now, back to the video. Huge shout out again to Manscaped for sponsoring this video, but let's get right back into it, right? Let's talk about this campaign bag player pick that is making everything on the market move right now at the moment. So in the current state of the market, why did this SBC come at a time where it could wreak some havoc and cause some prices to go down? Well, a lot of people right now have been crafting other SBCs. You have guys crafting Player of the Month Mbappe. We have had basically all the SBCs that have come out during Fantasy Foot have been good value. Tonali, a lot of people have been doing one of the best DMs and midfielders in the Serie A released as a part of this promo. Uh, the Cali Guri SBC, which I completed. And then yesterday, even with the Mikel Antonio, which I think is a good value SBC as well. We're three for three on fantasy foot SBCs, but you still have some other ones in here like the Declan Rice, the Icon Player Pick, and Kunku, Courtois. Again, Mbappe is a huge one, but you have these SBCs that people are getting fodder from Icon Swaps um, and you know rewards and stuff, and they don't have a ton to do with it, so they're going and doing SBCs. Um, and you know, that's people didn't have a ton of fodder from doing all the SBCs that have been out recently. So when they drop a new one, like the campaign player pick yesterday, people had to go sell cards from their teams to get coins, to go buy fodder or informs to go and do this, right? Because also this week, there's not a lot of people doing upgrade packs to try to craft in that way because the 82 plus upgrade is not good. Look how many downvotes it says. 42% uh, upvote, 58% downvote. The 82 to 88, as always, has a big downvote percentage. But people just know that these 82 plus upgrades are not that good compared to the player picks of old. So that's why you saw fodder go up yesterday as people went out and bought informs, bought fodder. 
and that's why you saw meta cards drop a little bit. Now, on the market where these cards have dropped, have we seen a rebound? It just, a lot of cards have rebounded a little bit, but like we always see when SBCs like this come out, th this is a similar story to what we see like all the time on this game. We see the panic sell when the SBC drops, then we see people go back, go back out and buy some cards back for their teams after they do the SBC, realize, okay, I didn't get that much good or re didn't really get anything good. And then you see the market kind of rebound back, but usually not as high as it was before the SBC came out, right? Perfect example is Road to the Final Quadrado, especially since Road to the Finals were included in the SBC yesterday. Quadrado was like 80K at his peak. Yesterday on Tuesday, he went down after the SBC down to 69,000, and he's been kind of up around 73. This is a couple undercuts, but he's up like three to four to 5,000 coins. That's kind of how a lot of cards on the market went yesterday, right? A lot of cards dropped a little bit, like right up until the SBC or when after the SBC dropped because there was a leak about it beforehand. So you saw some drops, the SBC came out, cards dropped a little bit lower. And then after that, you saw a little bit of a rebound on some cards. Not everywhere is the market rebounding on some of these items, right? Some of these cards are still pretty low. Chameni was 850. He's now back over 900,000 coins. Tomiyasu was 75K. He's 66K. So he's even lower at the moment. So a lot of people went out and they tried to buy cards yesterday, myself included, right? Um, you know, one example of a flip that I saw that worked out really well um, was this Davinson Sanchez. He was down at like 145,000 coins. He's already back up to 167. So he went from like 160 down to 145, back up to 167 where he is now. Um, now, some of the other honorable mentions cards, it was all about rarity on the game yesterday, right? Um, I bought some Kyle Walkers because Kyle Walker was like 140,000 coins and it looks like he's almost back there right now according to Footbin at the moment. I bought some Kyle Walkers uh, because this is right around that price range where you know, somebody who needs to go raise 150,000 coins to go and do two of those uh, player picks from yesterday is going to sell a card like this from their team to go and raise the coins to buy the fodder to do the SBC, right? So this Kyle Walker is about 135,000 coins. I bought like 10 of these yesterday at 124 to 125 because he was 140K um, before that SBC came out. So he hasn't quite rebounded all the way back to 140. He's like 134, 135. So maybe today he rises up a little bit more as we get into the daytime, as people maybe play, um, as long as we don't have any insane leaks. But as that aftermath of the SBC kind of ends, this is a card that I'm gonna hopefully look to sell back at like 140,000 coins, take my profit there. On days like this, where you have a big time, like popular gamble SBC pack that is released, I, I wanna talk through these scenarios so that next time we get one like this, whether it's next week, later on this week, you guys can be prepared and know how the market could react and make some coins off of that, or maybe you know react ahead of time and say, okay, I'm gonna sell my cards before this drops. But this is almost the same thing that we see all the time when SPCs like this come out. If it is hype, and if it is a player pick, especially if it's something brand new, which this thing is checking off all three of those boxes, brand new, hype, and it's cheap. That's the other thing, cheap, hype, and you know decent, or a gamble that people would want to try out then you're going to see these movements. And what you notice from today's market, if you really were like, Nate, I missed out. I didn't see a lot of cards move yesterday. Um, I saw cards go down, but I didn't see many rise back up. How do I know which cards are going to rise back up when we have SBCs like this again? What I want you to do is go on Footbin and do a little bit of research, right? Go back out on Footbin and look through these out-of-packs promo cards like Godretzka, who was 228. This would have been a really good one. This card, it gets really rare. He was down to 228. I saw him at 225 even. He's back up now to 240, 250 almost, right? Take a mental note and remember what cards moved around when we saw this party bag drop because when this same scenario happens again, whether we know leaks or whether we don't know leaks and it's a surprise, then you're gonna be able to remember, okay, last time, this card had this movement. And as long as there's no new SBCs or no new special cards that are out that would take the place of that item, then you would probably see a, a bounce back on the same card. One of these cards that has been a absolute constant to trade with throughout the year is this Tiago Jallo. I'll shout this one out for free right here. This Tiago Jallo was 220 yesterday, went down to 190, 195, bounced right back up to 215, actually came back down to 200. And now he's back up to about 214, 215, nearing that 220 range again, right? Just some of these cards that are very popular, rare, and out of packs 
especially rarity is key. Rarity is big time key with a lot of this stuff. That's where you see the best movements on the market. But again, like I mentioned, not all cards have rebounded back. Some cards are still down in price from where they were because again, there were coins taken off the market yesterday as people sold cards to go out and do this player pick SBC. I mean, if we take a look at SBC fodder itself, You've got 84s and 85s that are up big. 86s are up a decent amount as well. And if you take a look at the index, this will give you a better representation of what actually happened yesterday. Look at this, right? The leak started coming out and people started buying. But then the peak for these 84 rated cards was like still a couple hours after content as people were doing this player pick multiple times. You could do it twice, going out and buying that fodder. And then it started to kind of tail off a little bit, but it's still very high. Again, we were at 294 points. Now we're at 334 on the index 84. These cards are all still up. And these cards were going up, by the way, during lightning rounds. EA dropped two, it dropped an SBC yesterday. So there were two different areas of pack supply on the market. We had the breakout SBC, which is a prime electron players pack for 4,000 coins. A lot of people are doing this, this breakout SBC, right? But then at the same time, they were running lightning rounds. They ran like 85 plus, 86 plus star lightning rounds for like the first three hours after content on a random Tuesday. EA is going after the bag, this promo. They're doing lightning rounds right now again, man. Oh my goodness. Okay, I, I don't know what's going on with EA Sports. They're just running lightning rounds all the time. Maybe they're trying to control fodder prices a little bit, but fodder is still up because people want to do that. Mbappe SBC and all the SBCs that are out there. Um, and it just, they're, they're trying to maybe control that fodder supply a little bit and try to control those prices. But this, uh, the, it's crazy. I have no words. They're just continuing to run lightning rounds. EA is going for the bag, but um, that's trying, EA is trying to hold that fodder in check, but fodder is still going up because there's still more demand than the supply that those packs are giving out. So that's kind of the movement, right? And we've grown to expect and know what's going to happen on these days where we get SBCs like we did yesterday. So if you kind of get it down, okay, these are some of the cards I'm going to look at every single time an SBC like that comes out that drops the market, you can then be prepared to go out on the market and look at cards and say, hey, I might be able to buy some of these before they go up in price. So I know I'm kind of looking at this today from a real like trading slash market perspective, but these sorts of gamble packs, people go for them all the time. It's the casuals. It's the casuals. And even if you're looking at this like, man, I don't want to risk my fodder on this. You know, I think that it's a good value gamble pack. I think there's recent cards in it. But you could, of course, get stuck with the ones to watch. But at 70,000 coins, if you want to try to craft it after your rival's rewards, I think it's decent value. And it's it's not the worst gamble SBC ever. So that's why I was talking about that a lot today. And I wanted to kind of explain the whole market's per perspective around it so that you know the next time that happens, how you can trade with it and make some coins on the market. So make sure to go back to those footbin links and look through cards that moved, you know, the cards of all budgets, whether you have 200K, whether you have millions or whether you have 100,000 coins, you there were cards yesterday that were 30, 40,000 coins that moved like five to 7,000 coins, which would be plenty of profit and great return on your investment for a quick flip. So just go back on footbin and look through some of those out of pack specials if you want some more info on that. Now, just really quick, I wanna talk about Antonio then I want to start talking about the fantasy foot cards and then content today on Wednesday. First of all, this SBC for me is a dub. I wish they would have given him a four-star weak foot, but this card with 93 pace, 90 shooting, 93 physicality, he's got a lot of traits. He's got speed dribbler, giant throw in power header. If you like a big, tall striker, it's going to blast shots in the back of the net and is going to be able to, you know, head down balls. If you like a big physical striker, and you have, um, you know, extra fodder later on this week before this SPC goes away. Six days, it's out for a week. This card could very easily get a plus three, right? West Ham, some easier matches coming up after April 1st. Antonio has not been in the greatest of form, but bagging one goal for this guy in the next five games uh, after April 1st should be should be doable for him. Uh, and then, of course, he plays and starts just about every game. So a plus three upgrade is very likely for this Antonio card. Again, the weak foot and skill moves is what we look at and say, eh, it's not the best. But I think I'm going to try to get this done with some extra fodder because it's just going to be a nice squad for a nice player to have in the club to collect and hopefully get some upgrades and then maybe go and try out. Some guys are like, hey, would he replace Divac Origi? Maybe. Uh, I think Origi is four-star, four-star, though, and probably still a little bit better than that Mikel Antonio. But that's the third 
player SBC that we've had during this promo that has been pretty solid. So that's that. And then again, speaking about the, the um, foot fantasy cards that are on the market right now that did go down yesterday. I mean, it's you can literally draw the comparison in right here. And some of these cards have rebounded back up a little bit uh, as we've gotten closer to the lightning rounds later in the nighttime. Rashford is insanely rare right now if he's 3.5. He just got so rare. That's like a million coins up than usual. That is not normal. There's something fishy going on there. Um, but you, you see guys like Van de Beek, 125,000 coins. He is down. Rusillian, 123. He is down. Um, you know, Nani was 500K flat after being, I'm pretty sure, like 540 or 550. You can see as you look at a lot of these cards, he was like 530, had a slow drop. He did kind of rebound back a little bit. Uh, but we might have more lightning rounds today on Wednesday. I was surprised to see them dropping lightning rounds like right now and yesterday on Tuesday. That's usually not a Tuesday thing. Usually Wednesdays and Thursdays during these promos where they go all out with the lightning rounds, that's when you see them putting those extra lightning rounds up. But again, these cards are still so rare and they're, they're very, very hyped. So you kind of see these guys bounce back. So if you want to try to trade with a few of these cards later on, uh, maybe today on Wednesday, if you see some drop-offs before rewards, you know, you still might see some fluctuations on these cards. I don't know if you'll see a really big rise after Thursday rewards um, or Thursday morning rewards, um, you know, rivals, stuff like that. I, I wouldn't expect a ton of a rise on these cards. I think most people are looking at their rivals rewards this week and thinking, good, I get some packs, I get some fodder, I can go out and do more SBCs. But, you know, if you're still waiting to buy some of these cards, I would honestly still wait. I think that uh, it, it is rumored, actually, that with the brand new update that came to PC yesterday, which is going to be coming to console next week, some of the beginning, uh, what they call assets um, of Team of the Season have started being, being added to the code, like the game code. So, Team of the season is not that far away. And the minute we start having leaks and we start having people talk about tots this, tots that, a lot of these cards are going to drop off and a lot of the whole market's going to drop off. So I'm just putting that bug in your ear once again that, hey, these cards are going to drop off in the, in the near future, in the next couple of weeks with the big team of the season promo that is looming in the next three to four weeks. So if you don't mind, um, you know, losing a little bit of coins, if you just want to try one of these cards out, by all means, go for it. But still, I'm going to put the pause button on buying any of these. Kind of like what we did last week with Foot Birthdays, buying them like on Friday around the content drop time with the brand new promo coming out. That worked out really well. I think that it could work out well this week too. And then just seeing what EA does with week two of this promo and then going on from there. So that's kind of what's going on with the market right now and that sort of things. Now, also, we had a crazy, crazy piece of news yesterday with this Diego Maradona card. And I actually want to show you the message that popped up in game. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen it. If you haven't seen it yet, then all you have to do is log into FIFA and you will. But this was the official message that was dropped yesterday in the game. Due to a third party legal dispute, we must suspend Diego Maradona from appearing in PAX Ultimate Draft and uh, Soccer Aid World 11. He will no longer be available in PAX. SBC's foot draft and his price range will be fixed until further notice. We share our fans' disappointment and hope to bring one of football's greatest icons back to the game at some point in the future. This sucks, man. This sucks because as you can read as the way that EA is wording this, it's really not 100% in their control. It's just some situation. I know you can read into it. There's a couple articles out there if you want to know more. Um, but it's just it's just some sad stuff with Maradona passing away and some of the third parties that had his rights or that whoever signed the papers or whatever. Um, there was some misconceptions there. So with, Mar with that message going live in game, like we've seen with other icons before, this Maradona price, uh, all of his uh, all of his icon cards on the market exploded in value this card was 6.1 million coins yesterday on the market i believe right now he's like 7.3 7 7.3 million coins and at one point yesterday he was selling for eight mil even some of maradona's other items like the baby maradona went from 1.3 mil and for a quick second was actually selling uh, he's still up look at this guy man he, this guy was 1.3 mil he is now 1.52 this guy was selling at 1.7 1.8 couple at 1.9 for a really rare market it was it was crazy yesterday to see people go out and it's not just people that were buying this card yesterday to make coins oh again i want to put that speculation to bed because it was not just people going out on the market to buy coins also it was oh my goodness 
uh, Maradona's price is just going to go up from here because I have no other chance to either pack him, do an SBC for his card. So if I have enough coins for him and I want to use him, then I'm going to go out and buy him off the market. That's why you saw some of the market rise happen yesterday as well on these Diego special cards. So um, I know the mid and the baby were already out of packs and it, you saw those prices go up, which was a little bit silly. Um, but honestly, what I think if you really want a Maradona in your team, even though he's not going to be in packs, his price is still going to drop over the rest of FIFA when we get team of the season, when we get all these insane cards that are going to be out, these icon moments. Uh, you know, the thing that will suck is um, Maradona is not going to be available from like icon, prime icon moment upgrade packs later on this year. He's not going to be packable unless EA mess up or unless something changes. Um, but for right now, everything Maradona is suspended in terms of new cards coming out in the game. But that's why you saw the prices going up and that's why you saw all that craziness happened with him yesterday just to kind of put that uh i know we talked about the leaks that were out before that but that was like you know you know a message from ea legit that's what's happening with maradona so it sucks to see and it's it really sucks to to see in my opinion because that would be a card i really want to try moments maradona but we're gonna have to shell out a lot of coins if we want to get to there at that point instead of doing like an sbc or something like that so let's move on really quick and talk about a couple more leaks for fantasy foot Team number two. I know we talked about a tall yesterday. These are the official stats for his card. I'm a little underwhelmed. I talked about this on stream yesterday. 78 shot, 82 defense, 81 physical. I know that a tall plays way better than his stats always say because this card is always cracked and always good. And I know that it has the potential to upgrade, but I can't help but look back at last year's foot birthday card for this item and think EA Sports. Why can't you up this, update this dude a little bit more? Interesting thing to note is that he has a right back, not a right mid. You know, sometimes there's some right mid, right back position changes there with the tall. I think people will like it that he is a defender as a right back. A lot of people like, will like that for squad building purposes. Uh, but those are his official stats. In my opinion, again, that's going to be a card impacts for team number two. Now, another leak, uh, leak is Perisic predicted stats. These are not confirmed, but he's going to be an SBC. This could be later on this week. This could be as early as today, or it could be during team two, but it looks like we're getting some more Syria hype for a nice midfielder Perisic card right there. And then a couple other leaks. This is the last one, I believe. Madueke from PSV, English right mid, going to be a really pacey card. Stats are predicted um, right there for that item. So that's all the fantasy foot stats. Uh, or leaks that we have right now. Now, today is also a Wednesday. So let's let's go into today's content for a bit really quick. What are we expecting today? Well, we have some leaks for a pretty saucy team of the week. Of course, Aubameyang with the big game over the weekend, El Clasico. EA's got to give an inform for that game, right? Aubameyang is leaked to be in team of the week. We have our first upgrade to headliner Kloss. Very, very happy people on the game today because Kloss is in team of the week. He's going to get an upgrade. His um, headliners card's finally going to get a plus one. So there you go. If you have Kloss, GG's. Ben Yedder is also uh, going to be in team of the week. That is a leak. Uh, he is kind of going all out with this team of the week because there's another big name card in here that you're going to see. Robertson, that's a pretty solid card. And then Hyun Min Sun. This will be Sun's best overall rated card in the game. He's got his gold, 290 rated, and then this is going to be his first card with, uh, well, he does have one other card with 90 pace, but left forward, I think, is the position for Sun. I would imagine that these are confirmed stats um, and maybe a confirmed position. We'll see. But Sun is in the team of the week today for his game over the weekend, and that's our elite team of the week today. Now, what else could we expect today on Wednesday? Like I mentioned, uh, yesterday with the um, campaign pack, it was a pretty hype day. Monday was a bit of a slower day. I do think we would get a new silver star. Again, that's a Wednesday thing that we always see. So I know it was in milestones this past week because of the season change, but Kelleher is going to be going away. Last chance to do that card. I think we'll get a brand new silver star today on the game and then potentially more lightning rounds. Also, we might have a new icon SBC because the mid or prime goes away. Don't know if they're going to re-release another one right afterwards, if they're going to wait for tomorrow, or if they're going to wait until this weekend, because at when this goes away today, we will have no Icon Upgrade SPCs out and available in the game. It will only be just these regular player pick packs and our last couple Icon player SPCs that have four days remaining. So EA, you've got some, you've got some content to release. Icon Moments player SPCs and more Icon Upgrade packs, please. So that's kind of all the questions that we're asking today and maybe content that we could see on 
FIBA 22 today. So let me know down in the comments what you think about that whole situation. If you did, again, if you did the pack from yesterday, tell me what you got. Again, I got insanely lucky getting Mr. Kempembe. Had to put a maestro on the card um, as we'd like. And um, I don't. I have so many good center backs. It's ridiculous. Desai, Varane. I have a. Um, I have a. Konate in the club and Ramos. It's 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 a blessing to have that many great cards. I'll be honest. Shout out to EA Sports for the redless pack luck that I seem to be continually having this year on this game. So comment down below what you got in the party bags if you did anything with those. Of course, if you did like the video, make sure to put a thumbs up on it and subscribe if you were new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.